Well, my experience um, growing up in Alabama was that of any other typical child of my age. I grew up in an era where um, my mother, and especially my grandmother, always told all of us, all of the kids in the family, you never, ever trust white people. That's just something you don't do. And I, um, I never had any white friends growing up, and and um, I went to an all-black elementary school, middle school, and high school. So, and at our high school, we had maybe five teachers that were white, but most of the administration was all black. So, it was. Um, different and also when we went to town like when I went to town with my mom or something we weren't allowed to do certain things downtown like we couldn't go in the square or we couldn't go into the shop where they had peanuts or we had to sit at the back of the restaurant and things like that so we very seldom went downtown because my mom didn't really want us to be exposed to all that you know so I can remember when, even after I got married, I got married in 1982, and I come back um, to Alabama for a visit, and I would go to the mall shopping. And you you go to the mall, and you know, back then they didn't have like the little lines where people stand in line. They just had like a big counter, and the first one up to the counter is waited on, and then courtesy is to wait on the next person or the next. Well, I can experience a lot of time where the cashier would be white, of course, and she would take all of the white people first and then the blacks. And and you would say, well, I was here, and they wouldn't even say, well, she was here before me. They would just go along with it. And then you would have to wait until everybody was waited on, and then you could get waited on. And I remember I just got fed up with it one time and I had like a lot of clothes and I was ready to really shop. And when it came to my turn, when they finally said, it's your turn, I put all the clothes up on the counter and I said, you buy them because I'm not shopping here anymore. And I left and I never shopped there again. Um, for my husband being in the military, that really brought everything together. Um, we, we traveled all over Europe. Um, from um, Japan to Germany, um, I went to to uh, all all the places, Switzerland, and with us being over there and meeting all these different people, it just brought that saying of my my mother and my my grandmother that you're not to trust white people. That that just all of that went out the window for me. I mean. Um, I just started seeing people as people, and people saw me as people, as a person. I mean, they didn't see me as Sharon the black girl or Robert the black guy. They saw us just as human beings, which was very refreshing. And I, it just, that's the thing that stuck with me. And that's the reason why I'm so grateful to be here at Grace, because I feel like people see me as Sharon and not Sharon the black girl or Robert as Robert the black guy. The benefits um, with cross-cultural relationships have been uh, really great because I've learned a lot of things about other people and things that my grandmother said, oh, don't trust white people. That's not all true because not all white people are bad. You know, some are actually really nice and really good. And you know, you can, you got, you have great conversation. And so with that being said, um, I taught my kids differently. They learned to get along with anybody. And I made sure that they didn't even for a long time realize that I'm black and they're white until they got to like about middle school and then the kids start saying, oh, you're black and I'm white. But 
before long, I mean, before that, Morgan would say something like, I would say, Morgan, what color your teacher is? And she said, oh, she's pink, or she's a light this or a light that. She didn't realize that, okay, she's white and I'm black. Because I didn't, I, I wasn't saying that in my home. So I was just saying, people are people. And then so I finally I had to sit them down and explain it to them though because they were getting older and it, it was just something they needed to know. But I still tell them to this day, people are people and you treat people accordingly, not because of the color of their skin, but how you would like to be treated. My name is Sharon Jones and now you know a little bit more about me.